very pleased with him. He's um, taken the race extremely well. As you saw earlier, he just completed a light piece of work, which was just more of a sort of a top up rather than anything else. And um, yeah, we're, we're delighted with his, you know, with how he is physically at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he handles the mile. But I think the way that he races, the way he relaxes in his races, will give him an opportunity to stay well. And it's not like there's no stamina in the pedigree. You know, he's out of a Dale Army mare, and uh, many of his siblings have, have run very well over one and run well over a mile, so and further. So you know, I'd be hopeful more than confident, but. Uh, um, you know, as I say, hopeful nevertheless. Um, we won't tie anyone down to too many instructions, but he, he doesn't want to be racing on the pace because he can just get a little bit toey. So he'll just drop in, let him relax. So I don't think it'll be a massive field, so I don't think there'll be too much ground separating first to last. So yeah, no, he, he'll just drop in and then hopefully be, be produced with, his, with a nice turn of foot. You know, we just hope that we can get him there in, in as good a form as he is now. And um, it would, you know, but it would it would obviously be uh, pretty incredible. It would mean everything. And um, to do it for obviously for the Gradleys, obviously my, my father-in-law, obviously married to Polly, it would be even more special.